Hey y'all, good morning. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. It's Monday and I'm finally, even though it doesn't look like it right now, I'm about to show y'all, I'm finally making like really good progress on moving all of my stuff. So that's all boxes, everything. All my products are off. Um, that's all cleared out. Finally, like most of the stuff is in boxes, my carpet, um, all of my kitchen stuff is done. All the cabinets are emptied out. Uh, I just have to wrap all that stuff right there, basically. Um, my closet is done, so all of my stuff is like, all my clothes are like wrapped up, ready to go. Um, more clothes in the trash bags. All these boxes here and there are ready to go. So, and my bathroom is done. Um, so yeah, today is the last day I have to pack. So I'm actually gonna go work out really quick. I have some at-home workout um, stuff to do since I couldn't make it to see Brandy today, but we're not skipping today. So um, she sent me a workout routine to do today in the gym. So I'm about to go do that. Um, but I am, first off, I wanted to talk to y'all about the fact that like I am becoming obsessed with like all these Somali and Ethiopian girls on YouTube. So I I don't know what it is about it, but I just feel like one, I have gotten like mistaken for being Eritrean or Somali or whatever multiple times um, because I feel like I look like them more than I actually look black and white. Like when I was in London at the meetup that I did, um, these three Somali girls that I met and if you guys are watching this vlog, hey girls, um, they were so sweet, but like low key, we looked like sisters. Like seriously, and for me, I, I'm black and white, and so like I am pretty dark for most black and white girls, and my hair is a little bit thicker, and I just, I feel like me and my sister Simone have a different look. Even our little sister, who also has a white dad, does not look like us. Like we have two different dads, but still, like she looks way more black and white, and you can tell like a lot of girls do in America, but me and my sister don't. Um, we always get mistaken for like other ethnicities and stuff. And so like when I started on YouTube, I randomly picked up, clicked on some girl's video and um, I think her name was Hasa or something like that. She's a young girl and um, super cute. But like she's just like, I'm like, it's crazy because like I feel like I look like them. My hair looks like theirs a lot more times. And like, so I started watching all these girls on YouTube and I was just like, oh my gosh, like they're so cute and just so like, wow, like awesome. And I was like watching a bunch of ethnicity tags. I don't know, like I'm a military brat. I lived overseas like for 13 years. So when it comes to like learning about other cultures and like stuff like that, traveling, like I love that type of stuff. Like it, I find it so fascinating because it's crazy how so many people in this world have different backgrounds and come from different places. But at the same time, there's so many similarities between all of us as human beings. I just find that so fascinating. So I was watching their ethnicity tags and like just seeing their personalities. Stuff, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I feel like I'm sounding like I'm talking like about like foreign aliens or something but they're people and I just I don't know like I guess being in Texas I don't get exposed to like different cultures as much especially in like my pocket of people like yes there's a lot of African people that live in Texas especially in Houston but I'm in Dallas and like I have line sisters and sorority sisters that um that are African and I know people um who are of different ethnic backgrounds but not to the extent as if I was to live in like New York or um, you know on the East Coast or whatever so it's it was just it's just really cool and then also like seeing girls that are like from the UK and like how they do beauty and like you know stuff like that I, I just I'm I just love it and I'm like feel like I'm about to start binging um, so if you guys know any like really cool awesome um, girls just of any other descent besides just like here in America that are doing beauty videos or just like any like fashion videos or anything like comment down below so I can go follow them because I would love to start watching like girls that are not like in my immediate world slash in America because I think that a lot of girls here in America we have a lot of the same style and I would just love to be exposed to different things and different perspectives and stuff. So yes, yeah, send them my way if you know of any slash if you are a beauty guru that's from another country or anything like that, like send me your information so I can follow you. I am also very hyped up right now because I'm drinking this freaking drink. 
Yo, this bang drink right here, okay, it, it, it's ridiculously good. Like, it's almost like I feel like the label is lying when it says that it's zero sugar. I don't know how, I don't know how, but this is amazing and it has like, it's changing my life right now. Like, I'm so ready to go to the gym and just like kick butt. So yeah, I'm drinking the Power Punch one. I talked about this in my last week vlog that I got a few of these. I'm gonna have to go back and get like 10 more because I can't, I feel like I'm gonna get so addicted to these, it's not gonna be a game. So yeah, if you see these, try it. They're uh, zero calories. I don't know how, zero calories, I don't know how there's stuff in this, like how is this not, and it has a taste. So it's like, it literally tastes like fruit punch soda, literally. So I don't know. It has vitamin C though, it has B6, niacin, vitamin 12, B12 I mean. Um, yeah, it's like no carbs, no fiber, uh, no sugar, no fat. I don't know what the hell's in this thing, but it's good. And my trainer recommended it, so I'm allowed to drink it. Um, I'm gonna have to stop myself from going overboard though, because I can just tell. I can just tell, it's good, it's real good. But yeah, so I'm gonna go work out, then I'm going to shower and uh, finish the rest of the packing that I need to do today, and then tomorrow is moving day, yes! I'm so freaking excited to show you guys my new place and to be in it and all of that kind of stuff, so yay! So this is the new place, I'm so excited about it. it has um, cement floors, which I love this look. Um, a lot of apartments in the city have these cement um, floors. This is my view. Isn't it awesome? It's so bomb. Um, and I also have shades here so I can pull those down if I want to. I'm probably gonna put my TV here and then my couch kind of facing that way. Um, this is my kitchen. Um, all the appliances are super nice and there is a pantry closet right there, um, a coat closet right there. That's one thing I love about this apartment. There's so much storage. Comparison to my last place. This is my bedroom and we've got more of the windows here. Isn't that gorgeous? Like just like the city view. Um, so I'm probably gonna put my bed here and then my desk over there. Lots of blank wall space, which is perfect for me. Um, makes filming very easy. Probably put like dressers here and like um, everything else, like another TV. Love my bathroom! Look at this marble, it's so pretty. Um, so I've got that. Um, there is the tub, toilet. I finally have a walk-in closet, thank God. I was struggling with my little wall closet that I had and then I also have a laundry room in here so there's room for my um, to connect my washer and dryer in there but yeah I'm super happy with it I'm so excited to like get all my stuff in here and um, really really make this space mine so yeah this is it this is it y'all before all the stuff comes in um, yeah, I'm just loving this view. All this natural light is just like giving me so much life. And yeah, this is it. So we're gonna go grab all my stuff and get started. So we had some minor setbacks today, just a couple minor ones, um, but nothing that cannot be fixed. So whenever you are moving, okay, you already know that something is gonna go wrong. Something always goes wrong. And the amount of times that I have moved, I for sure know that every single time I move, something kind of like goes crazy. But this time, it's a controllable crazy. And it is something that, you know what, it's just a minor setback. We've just got to adjust a few things around and get it done. Um, that's one thing that, like, honestly, I have learned is that you cannot let the small stuff shake you. Like, you cannot be in a high stress situation, which moving is high stress, regardless of how smoothly it goes. It's a high stress situation, and you can't let little things, minor things, like, set you off because you need to be in good spirits when you're moving and you're working with movers and all your stuff and all of that. Like, you cannot let, like, little stuff bother you. At the end of the day, is it going to get in your apartment? Are you going to get into your new apartment? or your new home yes then everything else doesn't matter you just make it work and you don't let the small stuff sweat you I firmly believe 
that when God blesses you, and God has blessed me so much in the past two weeks, when God blesses you, the devil will try to come in and ruin you. He will try to come ruin you through your mood, through different little things that are kind of like, you know, random hiccups that happen. And he tries to ruin you for that time. And he tries to ruin the, the blessing that you've been given and, and try to get your focus away from the blessing and focus on a negative aspect of whatever's happened that day. And my thing is, the devil ain't about to get me today, okay? The devil is not about to get me because I am happy that I'm finally in this place. Like, at the end of the day, nothing cannot be fixed, you know? Like, there's always going to be a solution to a problem, and nothing is never like, okay, there's nothing else I can do in this situation. Like, there's always another option. So, I'm not going to allow, you know, my blessing to be ruined because of a small hiccup or a minor setback. Like, no, like, we're good. Y'all, exhaustion ain't even the word. Like, it isn't even describable of how I'm really feeling right now. And we're still not done. It is about 9.30 at night. I got up and out the house today at like 8.30. So we are way past um, a full, full day of moving and craziness. Ooh, Mark's here. Hey, y'all. So I just realized that I haven't vlogged since yesterday and i haven't explained kind of like where we are in the moving process so basically yesterday was a complete li like nightmare um so i went through this whole like motivational whatever speech just um well y'all would have just seen it and then just like literally like the day continued to like crumble like just like everything like unexpected like bad thing that could go wrong went wrong and uh at the end of the day we we got it done um didn't get it done without me having at least one breakdown um so i will admit that i did have a breakdown um at one point in the day because it was just like too much like too much i had these movers that were just like not moving with any sort of urgency and they took so long to um move the stuff out of my apartment mind you i only had a one bedroom apartment and i didn't i mean i have a lot of stuff but not that much stuff to where it would take two hours for them to move that just onto their truck and so i was literally like fighting bet with time like I only had two hours uh, with the city of Dallas to like get my stuff into my new place and they had spent that whole two hours like at my old apartment. So I was literally like freaking out because I was just like, I already had to pay and get like special authorization through the city to get to do this after hours after five and now it's close to seven o'clock and I, the offices are closed now because the city closes at five so I can't get it extended and I had to like pray um, to God that like they would let me stay in there a little bit longer to at least get the stuff off the truck and into the loading dock area and so luckily thank God the security man there was like cool with staying for an extra hour so that I could get my stuff off um, the truck and at least into the loading dock and we could go back and forth through the loading dock and I moved into a high rise so that alone like just the matter of like being in the city and like trying to have a big old moving truck and oh my gosh oh my gosh it was just like it was so extra it was so extra but at the end of the day like we got through it mind you mark was like oh man if it, if he wasn't with me yesterday i literally would not have made it yesterday like at all would not have made it like when i tell y'all he was like my solid rock of rocks yesterday like i'm talking about like at, when i broke down like he went into like you know overcharge like went into like beast mode and like talked was pushing the movers and um giving the movers like um or telling the movers like to we need to do this and da, da, da. like he went into like full on like i'm gonna take care of this for you mode which i was just like so thankful for and so like the beautiful thing about the whole thing is that like i think and he made this point last night which i wish i would have gotten him 
saying all this on camera so you guys could like see how we are but we're very like we go from like zero to 100 so quick when it comes to like being deep with each other and being honest and vulnerable and so like he was just talking you know about how like so interesting how the day kind of went it was like all these things that happened because I'm a planner so I had everything planned and you know squared away and all this stuff but like different things kind of fell apart that were out of my control and so he was just like you know God is so funny because he will literally like put you in situations where you have to learn how to let go of control you also have to learn how to let others help you you also have to learn that you're not alone that we're in this together like whenever you are weak I'm strong like and vice versa and like all these things and I was just like oh, thank God like, thank God I have somebody here that, like, gets it and can motivate me and help me see, like, the silver lining in the whole situation and just be my rock. Like, seriously. So, we both learned yesterday a lot of lessons about each other and about just how, you know, when we stick together and we get, we can get through anything. And yesterday was a serious trial. Like, I, like, y'all don't even understand. Like, I was in shambles all day. Just all day from 8 a.m. till midnight literally so um yeah i that was that was awesome that he was with me and just everything um so yeah today i finished up everything at my old apartment so i gave the keys away done we're done there and i had some videos to do today so i like got enough stuff out of my car and like out of boxes to film so i filmed obviously my hair is straight you guys obviously see that um, I filmed a tutorial um, how I straighten my hair going from curly to straight so that'll be up I don't know when it'll be up I have to do some other things for the video so um, stay tuned for that it's coming and then I'm also about to film a makeup tutorial the NARS uh, tutorial that you guys asked for last week I'm gonna do a NARS video and do that makeup tutorial and then after I'm done with those I'm gonna edit and probably not do anything else for today it's still been a full day um so i'll probably start more unpacking and things like that tomorrow i will show you guys more once i've cleared boxes and gotten everything kind of set up because it's a hot mess in here right now but i just wanted to check in because i realized i hadn't vlogged since yesterday kind of sorta um or at least since all the craziness because i was thinking about like when it was all happening like okay should i vlog this and then i was like no like i can't handle trying to vlog and like having a breakdown at the same time so yeah all is well though all is good I love my new place so I will show it to you guys ASAP okay I promise ASAP good morning so this is how I slept with my hair last night I bunned it so if you guys don't follow me on snapchat you totally should but I was talking about how I could not or no, I was talking about how I was going to try to figure out how I was going to maintain my straight hair like through working out. And I really wanted to maintain it for at least a couple weeks um, or at least a week. And then I want to push it for a couple weeks. Usually I cannot do that. But I'm seeing I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys on different techniques you do. So I'm going to try to do those. And so this was one of them was obviously a silk wrap and then a um two buns on the bottom these are basically more like bantu knots though they're not really like buns that i usually do they're like really wrapped around so i brush took one out and brushed it out it looks so good this morning so i was like yes this may be the technique that i go with like if this works this works and this is all we got to do so we'll see how this keeps up through the sweat and everything today this is actually um a robe <laughs> a robe tire or whatever but this is the closest thing I had to a silk like headband um so I had to make it work and um I'm probably gonna go to Sally's today and like go find one of the um the breathable ones to like use um so that I can um use that whenever I work out and I sleep and everything but yeah so I'm drinking my my uh morning shake which is this is the Herbalife uh nutritional meal or whatever um what is it called let me let me see before i before i tell y'all something wrong it's the oh it's the healthy meal the healthy meal this one um it's in french vanilla i usually drink their protein drink 
but I bought both of them this time so I'm gonna start mixing them because really I was drinking the protein drink as a meal and I don't think that was enough for me so I'm gonna instead I'm gonna um I'm gonna just put them together which is a lot of what a lot of people do they they mix the two together for a meal excuse me so I'm drinking this I'm really not hungry so I'm trying to down this really quick because I just woke up and I gotta go, so I'm trying to down this so that I have enough time to drink my pre-workout, but my pre-workout may not happen today because I just don't have time to drink it before we start. So I may just save it and push through and then drink it like when I go run tomorrow or something, which probably is a better idea. I need to go get some more because I, I drank one yesterday because I was super tired, but I needed to film. So I, dr oh my gosh, y'all, I drank one before I filmed and everything. First off, I filmed some bomb stuff. That was first. And second off, I was filming and editing for like 10 hours straight. Like I was freaking going. So needless to say, I need to like stack up on those things or shoot, watch myself because I can see myself like drinking those way, 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 way too much. Way too much. Okay. Well, I'm about to be late. So I'm about, gotta go and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So I'm back from working out. Um, this actually held up. So I finished maybe 30 minutes ago my hair everything is dried now so i can take this off and see if this actually did what i needed to do i also stopped went and stopped by um oh we got a little bit of moisture in there see it's kind of waved out a little bit but um i can just brush that out and see if maybe i just well one um this isn't a great <laughs> uh thing because it left an imprint right there um which obviously so i went i ran by sally's and actually got like a real um a real head wrap thing so this is the one that i got it's, it's this one so it's breathable and i can adjust it and make it tighter or whatever so i'll be using this um it was 159 at the beauty supply so i got that and um yeah today was good hey y'all what's up happy sunday so today i am helping my little brother uh, my other little brother so i haven't told y'all before i feel like i have though but basically i have a blended family so i have um, little brothers and sisters on both sides with my dad and my stepmom and then my mom and my ex-stepdad they're not married anymore so last week you guys saw family time with my mom and my little brother and sister on her side and then this weekend I was with my dad so I'm with my um, my dad my stepmom and my brothers and my little brother Parker he is a senior this year so they get to paint their parking spots so I I'm, I'm new to this we never did that so um, we're here bright and early to paint his spot some for some reason he picked like an Illuminati thing I don't know why <laughs> but he picked an Illuminati thing so we're um, registering and um, about to start painting soon and yes I've been keeping my hair straight um, yeah it's kind of a fail right now um, I'm still trying to figure it out like I'm trying to do like the bun thing to like keep like curls or some waves but like my hair is weird like it was doing it for the first like two days but now it's like just getting limp and like nothing is happening so I'm like I think I'm gonna have to start putting like flexi rods in it at night to actually have somewhat of a wave or curl to like last um, and then I'll probably like actually use heat on it again next week before I go to Philly for the Made in America um, concert. So, cause I have to have my hair on point for that. Oh, look at that, it's Jade with her vlog. <laughs> so are you ready to paint your spot park? Yeah, I'm glad we're in the shade. Uh, me too. Right here, high five, right? High five? High five. All right, cool. Y'all right. see he's so tall. Well, compared to me. Let's see, hold on. You're like short. Yeah, see, he's so tall, uh, and I'm so short. <laughs> so do we have a plan at least without the sketcher sketch thing? Well, yeah, I mean, I have to redraw. It. So, do you, why don't you redraw it now before Daddy and Miss Michelle get here? Yeah, it's hard to get smart. <laughs> we are perfectionists in this family, so of course we got 
blue tape, making it absolutely symmetrical all the way around. Say hi to my vlog. <laughs> That's my stepmom, it's Michelle. There's my dad painting, doing all the work. And Park standing and watching. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's good. So yeah, it looks pretty good. The outline does so far. Yep, so we're gonna paint it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're finished. I did all of that. No, you did not. It looks really good though. Like, it looks awesome. 